Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use the SP6 sample player inside of Serato Scratch Live. If you don't have the sample player open, simply click the button below the waveforms to open up the sample player. To load a clip, simply drag it from the browser into one of the six sample slots. You can also use the keyboard combinations of Ctrl and Alt plus Z through N. Let's start by looking at this drop down menu on the right side of the sample player. In this menu, you can select which panels you would like to have open or closed, and will allow you to customize the view of the sample player so that you can see only the information that you need. Underneath that drop down menu, we have the output selection. We have L, M, R, and a global mute. If you select L, the samples will come out of the output for deck one. If you select M, you'll be sending the samples through both outputs. And if you select R, you'll be sending the sample outputs through the deck two output. Below the output selection, we have the ability to change the overall gain of the entire mixed output coming from the sample player. Finally, we have the sample bank selection. There are four banks, A, B, C, and D, and each holds six sample slots. To play a sample, simply click the play button for the sample that you would like to play, or use the Z through N keys on your keyboard. There are three playback modes for the sample slots, just like there are three playback modes in the software itself. The first playback mode is trigger. In this mode, you can simply click the play button to start playing the sample. Then each time you click it, it will re-trigger the sample from the beginning. Alt click the sample to stop it. The second mode is hold. In this mode, you have to hold down the play button for it to play, and then you simply release your mouse or keyboard key to have it stop playing. The last mode is start stop mode. Simply press the play button to start playing the sample, and then press it again to have it stop playing. Underneath the play modes, we have the different options for the individual samples. First, we have a pitch slider. We also have a BPM display that shows us the BPM of the sample. Next, we have pitch nudge controls to fine tune the pitch value on the sample. We also have key lock, also known as master tempo. Next, we have the option to choose at the start of the track or sample, or at one of the set cue points. We also have the ability to loop the sample after it is done playing. Below that, we have a waveform display. And one of the great things about this is that we can jump through the track. This works the same, just like you were playing a track in internal mode. We also have a sample gain knob. This relates to the same track auto gain setting if you've set that up beforehand. Below that, we have the sample volume fader, which allows you to adjust the individual levels of the six samples in your sample player. Finally, we have a sample VU meter that allows you to monitor the level of your samples as you play them. Thanks for watching this video on the SP6 sample player that lives inside of Serato Scratch Live. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please consider supporting us by buying a t-shirt at the djpodcast.com slash store. If you'd like to see more video tutorials to help improve your DJ mixes, please visit the djpodcast.com.